Hey everyone, welcome to the United Traders Market Recap. It is Monday, December 6th. Today, ES closed around 45.95 and NQ around 15.849. Uh, this week's topic is across the metaverse. I am your host, Tim, and I'm here with Kevin. How are we doing, Kevin? Good, man. Good. You know, I think I might actually be buying some near term dips. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But today, though, we're looking far, far ahead into the future, not so much near term at the metaverse. And today here with us is TJ, our beloved leader. Uh, TJ is going to be here to guide us on our wonderful world of tomorrow into the topic covering metaverse. Uh, TJ, tell us exactly what is the metaverse? All right. Well, thank you for having me and the metaverse. So think of the metaverse as a virtual universe where we merge the physical and digital worlds together, enabling technologies like 5G or 6G, AI, augmented reality, virtual reality, and Kevin, your favorite, blockchain. Mm. <laughs> jokes, jokes. If we were to define it, the metaverse is a collective shared virtual space that can be enhanced by virtual or augmented reality. Um, so how do you feel it'll be utilized by the general public? Do you think it will be a completely recreational thing? Do you think it'll be professional? Do you think it'll just be everywhere all the time? Um, what, what do you think about it? I think everywhere. Like the applications are endless. Um, we're now just tapping into this becoming a reality. I know for years we probably watched those sci-fi movies. It's like, hey, this is where the world's going. Uh, but now we can actually bring it into fruition. Now, one thing is we are already in this metaverse, um, you know, currently, right? We have online gaming platforms like Roblox or Minecraft that enables creators to share their spaces, design their spaces. And we have companies like Verbella, which is a virtual world solution for remote workplaces. So now companies can have employees in different aspects uh, or different areas of the world and be able to communicate with one another in a community kind of like the Sims game. I remember that. I do remember playing that as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, same here. Kev, you're pretty familiar with uh, buying buying V-Bucks all the time. It's actually it's actually crazy kind of the similarity of, of Fortnite and it kind of has its own cryptocurrency. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Have their own Fortnite. cryptocurrencies built in, basically. That's right. Yeah. Even Roblox. You know, they have Robux. You know, it's I spent a fortune between those two games. It's it's crazy. <laughs> uh, so, let me ask you, Jay, what is the timeline for the metaverse, and uh, you know, when it will be more fully adopted into everyday life for an everyday individual? I mean, timeline. It's still up in the air. So. We had Facebook making their big announcement about it. Um, their timeline was around five years, but realistically, we are looking at around five to 10 years per se. And that's because we don't actually have all the technologies we need yet. Yeah, I, f I have a feeling that technology is going to kind of be the bottleneck for this because uh, I, tr I did try to log into some of the like the central land and stuff like that. And my computer just like could not handle it. Um, so it's for it to be totally adapted by everyone. They're going to all need really good gaming computers and, and a decent setup for, you know, the whole population to be in the metaverse, you know, and graphics cards, if you can find one. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Not so easy to come by right now. Right. Right. Uh, so do you see some downfalls that might come from, from the metaverse? Well, cause I know you, you kind of mentioned, you know, it's, it's kind of how the future everyone expected it to be. And in the movies, it kind of takes like a dark turn. Do you think that might happen? <laughs> I mean, it, there certainly is a possibility that it might happen. Cause if you take a look at people's online gaming habits and, uh, there's a lot more people that are interacting in the digital space already. And if you add virtual reality or augmented reality to that equation, then it is quite possible that we'll see a lot of people spending more time in their virtual worlds than the real world. So right. there could be a, a generation of virtual or VR addicts um, 
you could lose track of time. I mean, I play video games once in a while and even I lose track of time. So imagine in a augmented reality or VR setting. Right. And the biggest risk I would say is if you separate the real natural world um, from the augmented world, you're overstimulating your senses. And we already have a hard time as it is sleeping at night. Right. And it's, it's, becoming kind of clear that uh, advertisers are going to love the metaverse, um, especially if it's something that everyone's spending all their time in and can't quite, you know, they don't want to turn it off just like Instagram or, or TikTok. They want to be in there longer. Advertisers are going to love that. Yes. And, you know, more recently, someone bought a virtual Gucci bag for $4,000. I think it was <laughs> around 4100 on Roblox. And that is $700 more than the real life version. <laughs> my God, my God. Uh, so um, do you think, as far as the metaverse in general goes, do, do you think Facebook is going to be, well, I guess their name is metaverse. Uh, do you think Facebook uh, is going to be the keeper of, uh, of this metaverse? Or, uh, or do you think other virtual worlds uh, you know, will become more popular and possibly surpass Facebook as the the alpha meta. I mean, currently they don't own it, but they do have the highest chances of implementing it fast, right? They already have the social networks like Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and uh, their recent investments into VR. That will give them an edge on the marketplace, but I believe this is going to be more of a metaverse ecosystem where you have game developers, app designers, and especially like the computer hardware side, all working together to kind of build and monetize across the board. Right. And I would imagine that kind of will be proprietary, you know, uh, oh, yeah. like each, you know, if, if you have the Facebook metaverse, you can't just hop into the, the sand, you know, metaverse or whatever you call it because they all have their own cryptocurrencies and they probably won't be easy to exchange between each other. And it'll be, an, it'll be interesting to watch. That's for sure. In the beginning, that could happen, right? Every company's goal is their bottom line. So I'm sure Facebook, Tencent will probably try and figure out a way to kind of proprietize everything, but I'm not sure if that will catch on years after it's been established. Right. So... TJ, what companies publicly traded could we look at as a proxy to this uh, this introduction of the metaverse in, in, you know into our lives, our world? You know, what companies are going to be profiting from this the most? Is it the advertisement, social media companies, or would it be so more so towards the technology, the actual components? It, it is going to be required to, you know like Tim had said, you know, completely revamp a lot of our uh, computers, you know, so we can actually be involved in this metaverse. So the metaverse is going to have a lot of convergence. So we're going to have live on entertainment, social networking, user generated content, AR and VR um, hardware, software. There's the gaming hardware, ad tech, 3D digital software, and also 3D online games. So it's going to be hard to say for now, especially since our technology hasn't actually caught up to it. Right. So do you, uh, do you believe kind of in any of the cryptocurrencies associated with these worlds, like Sand, Mana, Cube, all, all that stuff? Or is that not something you think will end up being all that valuable in the future? I mean, that's tough to say because uh, just like the metaverse, there's a lot of things that are up in the air. A cryptocurrency, can they have an application? Sure. Currently, do we have an application for it? I don't see one that can completely replace another form of currency, for example. And remember, right now, we do have several limitations. If you watch like the Facebook's idea of the metaverse, um, you know, we all know that it, it looks promising, but we have 4G connection, right? Well, majority of the world does. And with 4G, you can barely connect onto Fortnite and play a game. With mm -hmm. 5G, 
we are pushing in the right direction, but we're far from having a network that can handle hundreds of concurrent streams that Facebook mentioned in their presentation. So we are probably going to need 6G. Now, 6G will solve this issue, but we are expecting that to launch in 2030, which is why you know our time frame is uh, five to 10 years on this. Right. And with 6G, the expectations are that it'll support data rates of one terabyte per second and a thousand Ooh. times faster latency. Jeez. Wow. Yes. That's faster than some hardwired cables I have sitting on my desk right now. <laughs> I'm running on 50 <laughs> megs right now. So yeah, Jeez. perks are living in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I, you know, I, I guess we're all headed for the metaverse, uh, you know, whether we like it or not. Uh, all I got to say is don't come complaining to me once we're all powering some robots vacuum in the future. <laughs> Uh, and don't forget that Facebook is still Facebook on the exchange until sometime in the uh, in 2022. Yeah, it'll always be Facebook in our hearts. What's the new ticker? Let me guess. Meta? Uh, it's not. I wish it was, but it is MVRS, you know, like Metaverse, both all, all the important letters. Apparently, Meta was taken by an ETF, which ironically, Facebook is, is in. Is in. <laughs> ah, too many letters. I'm never going to remember that. I think, uh, Kevin, you actually bought Meta, right? I did. I did. I did. I took an initial uh, entry last week and uh, added a little today. So we'll see how promising the future is to it. I took your lead on that. I took uh, Meta Leaps December 2022 calls. So let's see. Well, good luck to both of us, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I wish you both luck on that trade. And uh, TJ, thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. Do you have any other questions, Kev, or anything else you'd like to add, TJ? Oh, well, um, the stocks that we can actually invest in within the metaverse, uh, you know the usual, it's going to be Facebook, Tencent, but there's a ton of other online game makers, Roblox being probably the one in the lead uh, next to Epic. And you have Unity, which again is the only pure play that you have right now. Because Unreal Engine isn't a publicly traded company for us, so can't take part in it. So keep an eye on Unity, keep an eye on Autodesk, Adobe, and Live Nation. Because if we do go into live events, they're the ones that's probably going to be in the forefront of that field. I had thought that as well, yeah. Like the fit, the... Uh... Fortnite concerts that have been going on and stuff like that, which is a really cool experience. I don't know if you guys have experienced it, but yeah, it, it is pretty cool. So, yeah, but imagine doing it with a VR headset on, you know, you're actually immersing right. yourself in this live concert. It's and you don't uh, even have to drive to a city and park your car and pay a hundred dollars right. parking and yeah, be surrounded by sweaty people. <laughs> <laughs> But all right, I uh, I think that wraps up our, our episode on the metaverse. Unless you have anything to add? No, I think that covers everything, right? Cool. All right. Uh, thank you for joining us on this week's episode of United Traders Market Recap. And we will see you guys next time. <laughs>